Hi everyone, I'm, I'm back. I've been getting a lot of studying done. I hope you are all doing amazing. And uh, I apologize if you think I'm too hard on my audience sometimes and chastise them, but sometimes I have to. That's what a real friend does. But then I'll come back and bring some gems that I'm learning. I mean, you can't do everything for everybody because we all want to be competent to handle our own commercial affairs. A lot of people want to handle their own commercial affairs, but then they forget the being competent part. So yeah, we're going to throw the book at some of these people. It's a beautiful day. There was a solar eclipse yesterday. Well, no wonder my mood was all over the place. And this might be a little um, boring for some people because unless you do some studying and you're trying to be economically free, those people need this to happen, right? <laughs> we want to throw the book at them. So I'm going to do quickly. I don't have much time. You can see my videos are like chopped up more because I, I've been sending out a lot of stuff. I was really stressed out last week. So stressed out. I thought I made a mistake guys and I didn't even make a mistake like that. And then I try to over fix the mistake. That's what happens when you listen to too many people. This is what I want to do to some people, right? <laughs> but you can listen to too many people and it completely confuse the hell out of you and they can go on one thing and cause doubt that's why studying to show competency is super 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 duper important you know what I mean super duper important so I've been going into a little bit of tender of payment because you know how a lot of people they were doing the accepted for value but it wasn't really landing the way they want well um, upon further study that could um, maybe not be the method we want to go with per se again I'm not a legal expert an attorney nothing like that I'm just a uh, I guess an analyst you can call me but um, tender of payment that's what we're really trying to do so I have a packet going out to one of um, the entities I'm dealing with and I'm going to draw up a template and it's so easy. You just show your intentions of what capacity you're going in. You put enough law references together. You can put together your own wording. I mean you can and it will help you remember. So I literally printed out, you know, I'm going to put a, I have to get my file folders from my other pile but I print them all out I got three that I'm gonna show you and I you know I make a list of all the references that would apply and that's how you do it you put it in a folder if you want to do it with the 1099A that's great a lot of people um, that research and I can see that too because I've been doing this a while and I um, am in the process of trying to get some of my accounts out of the straw man's name and you want to get it into your trust name or whatever nonprofit that you're dealing with and start using the 1099 A's as creditors which we already inherently are but um I guess that's the sin with using a social you know definitely something to think about but tender of payment I'll read a little bit to you. This is something we would want to do when you do your payment coupon. And let me tell you, if you go on Investopedia, I mean, I've looked up coupon definition over and over again. It's literally a check because the so-called bill itself is a bond. Okay? A bear a bond type of deal so I'll read a little bit to you okay we won't make this too long I hope you're all having a great day and just you know sometimes you know hey it was the solar the so-called eclipse because I was all over the place I was so stressed thinking I did all 
the stuff wrong and then like the most high showed me so much to like calm me down and then I'm fine and I got even more information and I continue to learn every day but I want to encourage you guys to give you a little bit of help to you know while we're all trying to come up together that's the most important thing so it even tells you what is a coupon because we're trying to tender the payment and we know they redeem it so you can do it both ways you can give them both the options and we want to cite laws when they try to attempt to perpetuate fraud and not accept it or act like they don't so a coupon or coupon payment is the annual interest rate paid on a bond express as a percentage of the face valued and paid from issue date unto maturity look at that coupons are usually referred to in terms of the coupon rate the sum of coupons paid in a year divided by the face value of the bonds in question it is also referred to as the coupon rate coupon percent rate and nominal year yield it's important to know this stuff guys because oh sorry about that it's important to know this stuff because they try to play word magic with you I mean literally your payment voucher they it's just like the earth you know you don't feel like you're spinning you don't feel like you're on a floating ball but they tell you oh yeah you're floating oh yeah you're going at a thousand miles an hour it's like your senses tell you everything else right and yet they keep you know, they play too much as they say right don't hate the play i hate the game as they say so i'm doing tender of payment and again when they're like oh what you're doing is a sovereign citizen movement first of all we're private citizens with an uppercase c okay for creditors because know who the heck you are okay and you know we got to cite these references that's why I need to print them out and we got to put it in our paperwork we can all do this each and every one of us we, you don't have to pay and it's better to do it yourself guys show that you're competent to handle your own affairs regardless of how daunting it may be the more we dig into it it's just gonna be you know a, a walk in the park after a while so 18 u.s code subsection 914 creditor see not that u.s citizen with the small c there's a large c there and they try to turn the tables on us when the liability is on them and it says whoever falsely personates any true and lawful holder of any share or some in the public stocks or debt of the United States or any person entitled to any annuity dividend pension you don't think these bills that you rip off are so-called interest and dividends oh yeah transfers or endeavors to transfer such public stock or any part thereof or receives or endeavors to receive the money of such true and lawful holder thereof or the money of any person really entitled to receive such annuity dividend pension wages or other debt shall be fined under this title or imprisoned you see that fined guys you let them know or imprisoned more so you got that more than five years and you got the public law references because when they try to talk to you all crazy first of all i do not advocate dealing with these creeps through the email anything like that guys anything like that because i tried that and they play so dumb and you want to get the cfo like get the cfo doing business as so you got the you know the characters to be liable for their misdeeds but remember some of these references because i gotta do that i'm putting my stuff together 
my work week starts on Sunday because you want this stuff ready to go for Monday to mail out. So I don't wait until Monday to get started. I'm already at it. Sunday is definitely when I, you know, I'm not pagan, so I don't need to rest like that on a Sunday. And um, unless it's the biblical Sabbath and it lands on it, right? But I don't find the need to like take it easy on a Sunday. If anything, I'm like, ooh, tomorrow, you know, the post office is open. I need to get my packets together. So it's like, you know, you have to really see it in your mind. Like you really have to know that what you're doing is true. Like I already knew that this stuff was like on point for a long time. But it took me a while and it's still taking me a while, but I'm getting more and more every day, guys. And it's I'm really, really grateful. So also 18 USC, 1341, and also 1342. Because they're doing a lot of frauds and swindles, guys. Mm-hmm. Read a little of that to you. So we have um, you know, things to reference, like you know, you can say, you know, I am sending you the enclosed payment um, coupon to tender my payment. And basically, if they don't accept it, right, then you owe them nothing. Because they're trying to refuse your tender, and plus, they don't send it back to you. So that's why make copies, you know. And if all else, you do your 1099As. You have every right to use them for rent for utilities, for whatever, but we definitely want to get into the habit of transferring our accounts, your check-in, savings, your car, whatever, you know, um, because we can see what it is, so you want to kind of move it out of that and start um, operating more with the EIN or whatever that you've attained. May it be for your trust, whatever, nonprofit, and um, stop using the social the way we're doing we're supposed to just allow it to you know eventually collapse in on itself and um you know it's to each their own i don't like going down this road too much because people start wanting a lot of specifics and i'm like listen all i'm here to do is give you some references i'm not gonna like show you know i would I already showed some templates like this is how you could fill out this and that but there are other ways you can fill out the 1099 also you know coming in as the lender but I think you have to use the EIN for that you know so you have to have a few things set up and know why you're doing what you're doing and at least have a plan but um if you know people are like what do I do if they resist when well, you know we, you would like to put in your paperwork when you sent them send them a notice and opportunity to cure we want to send them a notice to cure you know you will put a disclaimer with these laws so frauds and swindles let's see whoever having devised or intending to devise any scheme or artifice to defraud or for obtaining money or property by means of false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises, or to sell, dispose of, loan, exchange, alter, give away, distribute, supply, or furnish, or, or procure for unlawful use any counterfeit, counterfeit or spurious coin, obligation, security, or other article or anything represented to be or intimidated or held out to be such counterfeit or spurious article for the purpose of executing such scheme or artifice or attempting so to do places in any post office or authorized depository for mail matter, yeah, when they're sending you all these so-called presentments, right? Any matter or thing, whatever to be sent or delivered by the postal service or deposits or causes to be deposited any manner or thing, whatever to be sent or delivered by any private or commercial interstate carrier or takes or receives therefrom any such matter or thing 
or knowingly causes to be delivered by mail or such carrier according to the direction thereon or at the place of at which it is directed to be delivered by the person to whom it is addressed any such matter or thing shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 20 years or both if the violation occurs in relation to or involving any benefit authorized transported transmitted transferred dispersed or paid in connection with a presidentially declared major disaster or emergency and he gives you all the public laws that you need there it says title 18 part 1 chapter 63 subsection 1341 I believe 1342 is very good too fictitious name because they're sending these presentments to your straw man so yeah a lot of people say you can just send it back I mean you can always just put tender for payment some people put acceptance um, again, um, with some acceptance, it's like, you are you accepting the liability? Um, you accepting it for face value? I don't know about that term acceptance, but whoever for the purpose of conducting, promoting, or carrying on by means of the postal service, any scheme or device mentioned in section 1341 of this title, or any other unlawful business uses or assumes or requests to be addressed by any fictitious false or assumed title name or address or name other than his own proper name or takes or receives from any post office or authorized depository of mail matter any letter postal card package or other mail matter address to any such fictitious false or assumed title name or address or name other than his own proper name shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than five years or both and you got all of these public laws here's the one have to find this law that I was thinking about <sighs> I know obligations of the United States this is subsection 8 obligations of the United States I'd have to look up into it a little bit more the term obligation or security of the United States includes all bonds so yeah, if your bills are so-called bearer bonds, you can also write on your envelope. You know, if you send it back, because I know some people like, oh, you can return it back to the issuer if they sent it to your fictitious name and you didn't want to accept it, right? Because again, acceptance has like a term that you're accepting the liability, the responsibility. So... I don't know, does that make sense when you write acceptance, like you're accepting it and then you send it back? It's not something I tried before, but you can always um, do maybe like a return to sender and write that or forward it to the debtor at, um, fifth, you know, in DC with, you know, some of these terms and you can go into it more, but I'm just saying, let them know like who the debt obligations belong to. You know what I'm trying to say? Just let them know. We're just trying to throw the book at these people because they need it, right? <laughs> Some people need a good uh, book hidden. You know, it's like, here you go. You know, because you definitely have to print some of this stuff out because they try to make you feel like a moron and you know you read it for yourself. You know you've seen the, the darn um, definitions yourself. I mean, coupon in Investopedia in all of the dictionaries and they were like oh what you're saying is not legally valid sovereign who's claiming sovereign uh, citizen 
private citizen is a whole different thing them trying to mix you with public and private don't let them gaslight you and put words in your mouth you know what i mean you know it's like okay don't make me you know get my big book and uh you know knock you over the head with it because that's what you're going to get if you don't knock it off right so in my paperwork i'm going to do a document you know notice an opportunity to cure tender for payment that's how i'm going to word it I'm going to have the coupon all ready to go with the wording on it, the provision on it, um, citing a lot of these laws, doing, you know, notice to agent is notice to principal, notice to principal is notice to agent kind of thing, and address these people, these CFOs directly. I got so many notes, guys, not even funny. You see my notebooks, they're like completely full. But I transcribe a lot too, and... Um, with these bills, you know, since they have um, these account numbers and these social numbers and EINs and whatnot, they do become trustees. So you can, you know, let them know as fiduciary, as trustee, you know, you're hereby authorized and or allowed, you know, to create some type of um, account to discharge these obligations, opening up and depositing these coupons. I, you know, I guess they can do that. They can open up a discharge account. And that's why it's important to at least, you know, I'm going to give them the option to change from my straw man's name into a trust name or into my, um, you know, my other financial vehicle. So I will um, definitely put that in my paperwork and say, you know, you can use these coupons, whatever. You know, I'd like to retitle this. I'm not operating under that name in business anymore because trying to get out of that dead person's name is so key i'm definitely not going to make this a long video like i usually do i know sometimes it's either really short really long it just depends on the time but this stuff has been keeping me super super busy and i don't want you guys to beat yourselves up like i did the past few days i mean i was like beside myself beside myself um not funny throw the book the law book right throw the book at them that's what we need to do but i was thrown i was just um thrown for a minute because i was um thinking that i did something so horrible that i sent something to the wrong location and uh come to find out yeah, I was just listening to people who didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Or they were trying to cause, like, doubt and worry. You know, a spirit of confusion. There are people online doing that, too. Like, they want to be really smug with it. Like, they got it all together. This process, um, you know, I show you the real. I show you that sometimes it can be difficult. Of course it is. I mean, you got to dig deep and you got to be tough and it's like not for the faint of heart. And you really got to um, practice with your memory too and take time to go back and relax and take care of yourself because if you don't do the self-care, right, then you're not going to be good to come back at it with fresh eyes like I had to do. I was like, oh no, oh no. And then it comes to find out it's fine. You know what I mean? It was totally fine. And um, I did some things to update my um, status correction. I do all this stuff alone. I get like, you know, I get like the outline of what to do. And I apply the laws. I look up the laws myself. I make my own notes. I mean, that's what a student is supposed to do, right? When's the last time you went to a college? Just saying. You went to a college, right? You learned from the teacher and you had to like email on the low for the teacher to do your homework did you ever pay a teacher to do your homework in school no could you pass like that could you be competent could you skate on by i mean of course we all know that in certain colleges right in certain colleges they um they'll take their little bribes and pass you along especially if you're a legacy student right but in the real world, no, you got to do your own stuff. You know, I can learn from various people. 
but I got to put this stuff together myself because you're the one that has to articulate with these characters and show, yes, I am competent to handle my own affairs and that's what I'm about to do. I don't need um, said so-called um, this and that custodians, you know, and we got to get into the habit of firing certain people not doing um, right by us or our assets and things like that. So for those who are doing this stuff, you know, throw the book at them. Do not be swayed. Do not, um, you're going to listen to so many people. Like I had a little bit of information overload the other day and it really got to me. So I had to take a moment to like regroup. But then I, you know, I got, um, introduced to even more incredible information. So like the things that were like really weighing me down, totally, totally, um, you know, broke through the writer's block so to speak because you feel like almost like you're getting a writer's block when you're overwhelmed and I you know got more overstanding and so I'm gonna apply it too so this is really great too just to realize we're trying to come from a place of not being a debtor a so-called sinner because this whole definition of, of debtors and creditors is really not what we thought it was you know what I mean you know, it's almost like saints and sinners kind of thing. But um, when you see payment, voucher, coupons, you know, it's not just going to look like this. They make you think. Right, right. This is big. Look at all the terms you want about what a coupon is. And, and you rip it off the bottom. Has your name, has the company's name. And you just got to let them know what to do with the instrument. And if they're going to act foolish and act like, oh, no, that doesn't exist. No, obviously it does because there's laws that are written about it. So don't try to act like you're some type of legal expert on the matter. Or use threats and violence like termination of goods and services. Like really, really, you know, such in poor taste how some of these people are. I've noticed that and so you know don't mind me if you could see I have like a burn mark um you gotta love it ladies right when you're um eyeing in your hair you'll um sometimes burn your neck and it'll look like something else but no I uh, ironed my hair the other day and I seared my neck so I've been walking around for a few days and people are probably like oh what's she up to no I ain't like that so um this is a really great reference, UCC 3-603. We're dealing with um, these instruments, and um, don't let them try to tell you oh, what's up is down and what down is up. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to shift you know, the liability, and we're supposed to be held harmless. That's why you heard a lot of that hold harmless agreement talk. Um, a few years back and it's just incredible to see that this movement is gaining traction more because a few years back guys no way it wasn't like this evident so, so the most high he is working behind the scenes so I'm just really grateful and I hope that we each get what we're working so hard for and don't let anybody tell you that this is easy and that you're trying to look for a quick fix or something like that. No way. No way. Uh, most people have been deprived too long and they have assets out there and tax credits they couldn't even possibly believe, right? Just sitting in escrows all over the place. And we just got to come in and, you know, claim our stuff. But the 1099 A's are shown to be very very powerful document so um just make sure um you know you do your study to like know how to um fill them out right i don't really go through the ins and outs as i um progress farther if people want to do that privately that's different but again i don't want to take on that type of liability right now um doing any type of processes when I teach people to feed themselves. I don't want to feed people. You know, I may come across a little harsh, you know. You can ask my, my children, they'll say the same thing. 
like, oh, you're so tough. But obviously, it couldn't have been too bad because they turned out pretty good. So, um, it's because, you know, I want the best for the people around me. And I strive for excellence. I try to be a high-value woman. And I try to um, bring the best out of whoever is around me, regardless if they think that they can do it or not. You know, so I do try to increase people's confidence and um, let them know, like, hey, I'm just one one lady out in the you know wilderness and i don't have a whole team i don't have this flashy channel with all this stuff you know not just yet anyway but you know i can bring it though i can bring the content i can show that i can stand on my own and i'm all about self-correction too and some of us will come on here and be in a mood once in a while but that's to show you we're real we're not going to sugarcoat every little thing just for thumbs up or views i don't ask you and say come on guys give me a thumbs up do it do it do it do this do that if you want to you want to you don't you don't i mean i'm all of i'm all about free will you know i'm all about um doing what you're comfortable doing right i don't tell you how to live your life i don't say hey these are the processes i do this is how i move you got to move like me Right, and then if you hear something different from someone else, you're gonna be like, "Oh, they do it this way." So how you said it wasn't right, even though both ways it could land just fine. You know what I mean? Both ways it could still turn out okay. But I don't want to give people that type of misconception. So I'll just be like, "Here, these are a few references that I'm using." You know, so I'll go into some of the history stuff in my next video. I've been reading amazing historical references too but I know people are getting back into you know trying to discharge a lot of this stuff um, you hear a lot of talk accepted for value that's actually been around for quite a few years um, I don't know about the terminology um, because I've used it for a few years and it wasn't successful for me in that respect but I think if we use the laws tender for payment or tender of payment that will be more clear and there's more laws to support that because that's actually in the laws you don't see a law for except for value like that unless i'm mistaken you know um that's what i'm talking about and that the laws that you can put with it also that if they do not um, i don't have that written down with me but the one that if they don't accept it that it's considered um discharged and the one for accord and satisfaction, I don't have that one up. But accord and satisfaction, UCC 3-311, payment UCC 3-602. So UCC 3, you know, just try to remember that. That's going to help you with the payment coupons. That's going to help you with your discharge. And yes, definitely use the 1099-A's if all else fails. Okay, um, because that's what I'm going to do. I have the CFO's name. I got all of it. I got her by the, you know what. So if anything, you know, that's what we're doing. We're throwing the book at these people. But thank you so much. Um, I know this is, wasn't very exciting. It was more like boom, 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 get to the point. But some people just like it like that, you know what I mean? I don't want to keep you on here too long and um, drag it out more than I have to. I've been kind of like laying low because um, I've been getting so much done. I mean, even when I did a video yesterday, I was interrupted by the doorbell, which I'm glad I went to the doorbell because um, it was the postman. I had certified mail. I got my documents back from... Social Security because I updated my status. I sent my um, affidavit of status and things like that. So I made sure I let them know who I was and, you know, I put my proper credentials. Um, so there's little steps there, though, but it seemed to go just fine. They sent me back my stuff, said I'm getting the card in two weeks. But again, claiming the social accounts is one thing, but again, we don't want to move with them and like our commercial affairs um especially you definitely don't want to do business in that name a lot of people are talking about how um you would use it for personal items that makes a lot of sense 
and that you would want to move with um, your EIN to do any type of business. So that's really important to know, to not mix the two and to try to move our assets and do a conveyance. So I'm learning things like that every day. I'm getting more schooled on it. So I don't like to prematurely go into some of the stuff until I dabble the waters. But um, I did update my status. That went smooth. So yeah, just doing your notice. There's laws on that too. Um, being a gentleman or a gentlewoman, you must give your proper notice to all these entities. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll let you be, get your, um, enjoy, enjoy the beautiful weather while you still have it. It's 3 p.m. Um, in Massachusetts right now, and uh, so it'll be dark before you know it in a couple of hours. So get out there, do what you got to do, and then, or if you're like me, get your homework in. I already got some sun earlier today. Now it's time, crunch time, so I'm ready to have my work to be sent out tomorrow. So as I get more results, I'll let you know, and um, I'll do different vids. I had many different topics I wanted to get into, but again, one at a time, right? So have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I shall talk to you soon.